One of the things that actually really did draw me to this show was the fact that it's speculative fiction, you know? It's like something that is, you know, potentially just around the corner, you know? Like the technology that we're dealing with here feels very real, feels like it's, you know, maybe a proliferation of stuff that we've already got in many respects. How are you guys doing today? How are you? Very well, thank you. How are you? Good, thanks. Um, Chloe, I'll start with you. Uh, you're kind of getting to live like a Matrix fantasy with the show almost. You're getting uh-huh. beat up a lot, but you're going into this like simulation slash uh-huh. timeline. Uh, mm-hmm. So how fun was it to like lean into this like action heavy role and just be a badass? <laughs> it was awesome. You know, I hadn't had that opportunity to really dive into the action uh, in, in in a little while um, in my career. So I really took the opportunity and ran with it. Um, you know, there's some really exciting action sequences and and uh, we worked with a really incredible team um, here in New York for a little while that was able to integrate um, a lot of judo as well as Muay Thai and Taekwondo and just a really wonderful grasp on mixed martial arts that is my favorite forte. Um, so it was just cool to kind of flex that muscle and test my body physically as well as mentally. Definitely. And then, Jack, you know, you get to kind of flip between London and North Carolina as well. Did you have like a favorite one to film in? I feel like they both felt so different. Yeah, they did feel really different. And, Mm -hmm. you know, like some of the stuff in London is so fantastical, obviously. And, um, you know, I kind of really enjoyed the, you know, it, it was a pretty glamorous sort of sequence that we shot in London in episode one. So that was a lot of fun to do, you know. Um, but all that being said, personally, I really like the kind of groundedness that you feel in Clanton between mm-hmm. um, Flynn and Burton. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think for me, that's where like the real heart of the show sort of lies. Um, and it was those days that kind of felt the most fun to me in many ways. Yeah, agreed. Like, I feel like Chloe, like Flynn and Burton's relationship feels so lived in. So how did you guys kind of like build that rapport and like build that bond? Usually you have to like really work for that stuff. But it was pretty funny that um, from the get go, we had our first like FaceTime in February or March before we started shooting about two or three months later. And it was a pretty instantaneous connection. Like we had so many similarities in our childhood and just the different intricacies of also how like our brains work. Mm. We have very similar um, responses to things. And and uh, I just felt an instant kind of uh, gravity and, and groundedness in our in our relationship. And when we got together in London, everyone was like, wait, how long have you guys been hanging out? And we we're like, actually, not that much, but. But we were uh, a totally a package deal, no matter what. Yeah. And, and we still really rely on each other. It's been a year since we shot. And, you know, yeah. I think yeah, we're, we're, we're constantly there for each other. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, Jack, I think it's so funny because um, you watch them, they're so fantastical. But then they have this eerie relevance, you know, with like the simulation and it feels very real. And I, Chloe, you did like that movie Mother Android and that feels very real. So do you like find yourself on set jack like having like an existential crisis thinking holy shit like this could like happen like yeah, how do you process like this you know I, I have I, existential crises all the time say, all kinds of, every day say, <laughs> 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 might have been having a lot of them on set but it might not have I'm been no strange that. in an existential crisis <laughs> but <laughs> you know one of the things that actually really did draw me to this show was the fact that it's speculative fiction you know it's like something that is you know, potentially just around the corner, you know, like the technology that we're dealing with here feels very real, feels like it's, you know, maybe a proliferation of stuff that we've already got in many respects. Mm -hmm. Um, So that was really fascinating. And it was, it's really cool being on a set where that stuff is being employed in an interesting way, you know? So yeah, hundred percent existential crisis all the way. <laughs> all the all time, yeah. every day. Yeah. Awesome. Well, that's my time today, guys. Uh, it was such a pleasure talking to you both. Thank you so much. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Pleasure, man.